everyone back again with me princess tacha with new video how is it going i hope that you guys will have a great weekend let's find out today what influence does your energy have on others all right now in front of you there are three beautiful pictures pick the first picture that comes into your mind please remember you are welcome to pick other group for additional messages i'll see you on your reading Hi group number one, welcome back to my channel, back again with me Princess Tacha with a new video. Today we're going to find out with this new video, what influence does your energy have on others? Before I begin, uh, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and also ring the bell so you will not miss any future readings from me. Group number one, what influence does your energy have on others? you have luminosity with number 21 okay um you know please be mindful that this is general reading so take what resonates guys okay um I feel that with this group, your energy is very glowing, is very shining. You know, when you are connected to your divine feminine power, you become luminous. You know, your true nature shines from within and you glow my darling group number one the influence that you have with your energy is how you have this ability to attract divine masculine naturally to your energy because you shine and you're glowing with your divine feminine and it happens naturally you know it because you have this kind of energy that is so feminine um and you are so connected with your divine feminine power i feel that the divine feminine power and someone that master that power that truly have this kind of like glow like you have truly gonna attract the divine masculine and they are attracted to one another you know complement support and nurture each other so that's the influence that your energy have on others in this modern age group number one sometimes it can be quite difficult for a woman to find her luminous center and leave from that place because we have fallen into the trap of believing we are supposed to have be and do it all all of the time what this usually means is that the woman takes too much upon herself and tries to fill the roles of the man in her life instead of asking for their help being luminous requires poise. So your energy is very poised. You're such a poised person, you know. It is worth the extra effort of patience at first if that is required to develop that kind of skills. And also usually what is most effective is an adjustment of perspective. A luminous woman asks for what she needs with respect for the other person's time and feelings, then goes about her day confident that her requests will be responded to. So you have that influence uh, to other people, giving them some sort of um, confidence that your requests will be answered you have this ability to drive the relationship or to actually guide 
you know, the relationship behind the scene without your partner knows that it is you, the one who direct it. Because you're so feminine and in touch and in connection with your own divine feminine power. You're so glowing and so shiny. You know, you're just like a diamond. Everyone wants to have a diamond in their life, wants to have this shining object. Now, also the influence that you have because of your energy on others is whatever that you pick, whatever that you touch, whatever that you have, it looks glowing, it looks brilliant, it looks beautiful or handsome, or it looks good. Okay, no matter how average it is, but if you are the one that touch it, if you are the one that pick it, if you are the one that hold it, that possess it, it becomes a shining object. It becomes a diamond that has this brilliant shine. Because it exactly represented this card over here, group number one. So then the influence that you have People sometimes feel a little bit jealous or feel a little bit intimidated, intimidated by you, which is normal, you know, because everyone wants the best for themselves. So then they always see that what you have is better than them sometimes. Maybe you feel that sometimes people try to compare their life with you or thinking that you always get the easy one. You know, they never think for a second that your life was so hard in the past, you know, that you tried so hard, you worked so hard because you look always glowing, you look always presentable, you look always shining because this is just the way you are. This is your energy. There is a reason why you are attracted to group number one. And I'm telling you this, this is the message from the universe. So then I can tell that with this group, for an example, you probably just wear a very st standard clothing, you know, and nothing special, you know, no brand at all. But people thought that your clothing is expensive, that is branded, you know, that is designer clothes because you are the one that wear it. You are the one that hold it. No one else can create that kind of effect on the stuff or the clothes or the project, you know that you create, that you have, that you wear. You have that kind of energy, group uh, number one. You have also here secrets. I feel that you have this energy like you know it all. It seems like you know a lot of different things and you know it all. Well, sometimes you do, group number one. Sometimes you do. That's because the energy that you have is you want to acquire knowledge and you keep it inside your heart, inside your mind as a secret that only you can unlock. You have the keys to unlock it. And you decide yourself whether uh, you want to share it with people or not or you decided to just keep it for yourself for now. It's up to you, group number one. But I kind of feel that with this group... Um, the influence that you have on others from your energy, you make other people think twice, you know, before they try to be cocky to you for the second or third times, you know. That's what I feel with this group. That's what I think with this group, okay? Like, you have the secrets to actually unlock. Or you have a lot of keys to unlock the secret to the universe. Maybe you acquired that knowledge. Maybe this is from uh, yourself, from your research, from your ancestors. Coming to you through dreams, synchronicities, message. Okay, or other personal knowledge related to spirituality, related to um, how you manifest your dreams, you know, something like that. So people are so annoyed sometimes with your energy in the sense that in a good way, meaning that they kind of like, who is this person? Okay, why they're shining so bright? 
why they look like they're an angel because they they are because you are group number one okay they look like a kind person i feel very comfortable near them and it turns out they know a lot of things that i don't know who who is this person anyway okay that's what people um also feel that around your energy and that kind of like influence that you have you know with your energy on others you also have here the author and cattail with peace you know the author is very cute animal you know very cute <laughs> i really love the author You know, with the otter, the otter glides through the water with grace and fluidity. A beautiful sight to behold. The otter's playful swim brings calm and joy to those who witness it. Your energy is very peaceful, is very funny, is very calm. You make other people truly feel calm and secured and relaxed in your energy. You know, that's kind of like influence that you have on others, group number one. But I also feel that uh, you bring this sense of tranquility, you know, relaxation. And also people truly enjoy in your company. You are such a funny person or such a fun person to be around. A very witty, very bubbly and very funny. You also have these funny facial features that people just adore. People think that you are cute or funny or just really know how to joke, how to have fun and how to make people truly feel comfortable in your presence. You have it all, group number one. That's what I'm telling you. And also... Um, the cocktail is a symbol of peace and prosperity. So the energy that you have on others is you inspire other people to also work hard to pursue their material desires because they see you as having this kind of like uh, financial security, financial stability, or even look very abundant, attracting a lot of opportunities, attracting a lot of money and making good money, make a good job, have a good job, have a good side hustle, or in the future, you're about to have uh, abundant and a lot of money and even can share that with people so people can witness your prosperity your abundance and you're so generous and so kind like the author so when the author and cattail coming together um, with this card you know telling me that you're such a kind rich generous prosperous person Okay, and you keep attracting that good things by uh, displaying this author characteristic as well as can tell someone that is pros full of prosperity and very generous too. Wow. You know, if you got the tarot card and you claim it, you know, you're going to have it. But the time is like subjective. It can happen next year, next month, in three years or, you know, the time is subjective. But when you got the card and you claim it, you're going to have it. You're going to have prosperity if you claim this. Okay, group number one. You also have here the devil. I feel that with this group though, you have this kind of like energy, a balanced energy between your bright light, your light and your shadow side. Because we see that the devil is also the card about shadow, about obsession, about desire and about fear you have this kind of influence with your energy on others is you make them not feeling guilty of pursuing their guilty pleasures okay you're someone that know how to do something and everything in moderation you really love uh to get to know your fear and shadow uh, you're someone that doing the shadow work so your shadow is not biting you back okay you're someone that feels secured in your own shadow you're someone that already uh, you know evolving and becoming more mature than you ever before so that kind of like energy truly making you someone that even though you look like a little bit a rebel or a naughty uh, person but you look very alluring very sexy uh, very sensual and people really like so curious about you they really want to find out your shadow side that's kind of like influence that you have on others people really curious about your shadow side your fear your obsession and even your 
your guilty desire or guilty pleasure what makes you feel guilty but enjoying it okay but in the meantime you also love indulging yourself uh, with something that uh, you love to do to eat to enjoy um, maybe it's related to your sexual connection with other people or your loved ones or your romantic partner but also this is about you becoming this person that other people adored people falling in love with you so fast and instantly because you have that spicy naughty sexy vibes from the devil card okay and you have that balance of the light and shadow wow very powerful here i think uh the energy that you have and the influence um that your energy has on others group number one you also have here four of ones you have here three of swords you have here the sun and you have six of pentacles I feel that the um, you have one more sorry you have the empress okay i got five cards all right and you have also four of ones and three of swords two of swords telling me that you know you have this kind of like energy that um, no matter how hard the, t the situation is, you always try to mend your broken heart. You always try to look for the benefit that you can get, the lesson that you can learn, and even the positive experiences that you can still experience or possibly experience from that kind of like situation or event okay you give that kind of like influence to other people making you a little bit optimistic so people that um so close to you they sometimes come to you for advice because you've been there done that and you still survive you have also four of ones i feel that you have uh, this emotional connection with yourself but also the way you treat other people and your interaction with other people really showed me that the influence that you have with your energy is like kind of like stability you know emotional stability you have this emotional intelligence that you naturally have um, in yourself um, and it makes other people really want to be your spouse or your a romantic partner or even a future permanent partner. You know, you somehow can truly understand other people's perspective or try to put yourself into their own shoes or into uh, other people's shoes. Uh, that way you look like someone that is such an empath. So you have this energy that you're willing to generously give attention to other people and people get your influence as someone that is an empath that's what i feel from this group and also with this card four of ones you know um this is also related to you having a uh, luminosity okay that you attract naturally uh, the opposite energy of your own um energy so if you identify yourself as a feminine you probably have a divine feminine power and naturally with the four of ones you're gonna attract masculine energy that will love you that will adore you or having some sort of secret crush to you okay uh, so that's also what i got uh, with this group 
now again with the sun card this is like confirmation from the universe telling me that you're glowing my dear group number one you're glowing you have that center role main character personality wherever you go whatever it is that you're doing in life you know you have that uh, mentality you know you want to achieve the impossible some of you probably have a very a good or very strong sun position in your birth chart so find out where is your sun located in your birth chart and also comment below group number one please comment below what is your sun sign okay because your sun sign is also the kind of like energy that you have and have this strong uh, influence uh, for other people so other people can sense your sun energy by the time they interact with you or having some sort of connection or relationship with you it also means that your sun sign really rule your personality very strong okay with the six of pentacles i feel that um again you have that sense of justice here with this scale picture and you're someone that you always remember who you were you know long time ago your family your ancestor your tradition so whenever you are successful whenever you have a lot of things to offer whenever you have money blessings resources you always remember your ancestor you remember where you came from you remember your parents your siblings your family you also never forget to uh, give to charity so that kind of like um, attracting also glow up in your life that's why when the sun coming in conjunction with luminosity and also six of pentacles telling me you know pentacles is round energy seems like the sun also round so i truly feel that there is this a very abundant energy glowing coming out of you and that can that kind of like effect have a special influence into other people uh telling me that people sometimes assume that you are lucky okay that you are so lucky okay with whatever it is that you have right now but what they probably uh, don't know what you have right now is because you prayed you worked so hard you gave a lot of effort okay you cried you tried you failed you tried you never give up and you have that secret of the law of attraction for an example or law of assumptions or even your prayer your meditation your spiritual practices Okay, so that's also uh, some of the things uh, that I realized from this group. And also you have the Empress. Group number one, you have that beauty and creativity glowing coming out of your uh, vibes, your energy and yourself. So the shine is shining within you. People can truly sense and get this influence that you're someone that is feminine, creative, beautiful, gorgeous, handsome. So regardless of your gender and regardless of your age, you have that beauty, that handsome, that truly mesmerizing and have that kind of like hypnotic. You can hypnotize people and very charismatic. You are such a charismatic person, especially when the Empress coming in conjunction with luminosity. It's telling me that you're such a charismatic person, someone that is so creative, someone that can really... You, are, you can be very good for public eye or even working in public, uh, working and dealing with a lot of people as well, okay? So that's also what I got from this group. Group number one, that's your reading for today. If you want private reading, personal reading just for you, since this reading is pretty general, please click the link in the description box below. You can book me for your private reading. Thanks for watching group number one. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like this video. If you love this content, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you will not miss any future readings from me thanks for watching i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye hi group number two welcome back to my channel with me princess taja today we're going to find out what influence does your energy have on others all right uh, before i begin i will be very grateful if you are willing to support my channel by subscribing it click the subscribe button and also please ring the bell so you will not miss any future readings from me and please be mindful that this is general reading it applies to a lot of different people so take what resonates and if you want private reading just for you Please click the link in the description box below. You can book me for your private reading. Group number two, what influence does your energy have on others? You have here manifestation with number 22. So group 222 two, two, or 2222 two could be your angel number. Okay. I feel that some of you i feel that some of you is very spiritual here you know 
you really believe in this higher power that is stronger than you, that is higher than you. Some of you also identify yourself as being religious or having some sort of religion that you follow. If not, some of you truly believe in the higher power and also the power of your mind. And you also believe in the law of attraction or even just uh, someone that is so spiritual. Okay, You have some sort of spiritual practices. Uh, you follow some sort of... Uh, uh, spiritual routine tradition you love meditation praying and also yoga that's right off the bat okay if this is resonate with you this is your reading if not then go ahead and pick another group but with this energy very specific here okay very specific with manifestation here it's not just about you manifest abundance and then done no it's not about that but i feel that when you got this card and there is a reason you know why you are attracted to certain group and at this point in time you're so attracted to group number two with 22 here so and with manifestation with this card you know i feel that some of you you learn the world in a hard way of course it happened in the past some of you some of you still going through some things that are really bothering you right now but you're st still trying to manage your emotion you know manage your uh, physics manage your intuition you know some of you also have this very high intuition now that influence itself of the high intuition of your energy of a high intuition really give an effect to people that you can truly kind of feel um, if certain people have a good intention to you or not. So that's like the influence that your intuitive energy has on others. Other thing, you kind of sense that whenever your manifestation is about to happen, if you already practice manifestation and law of attraction or law of assumptions in like so many years going backwards. Okay. Let me see here. Um... And also with this card, you know, you have this manifestation energy that the influence that you have is people see you as someone that is so easy to connect with the energy of all that is available to you in the universe. You have the ability. You know, there are many times in life when we wish we could manifest a specific item, situation, or even person. Many people know how to visualize what they want, including you. So that's kind of like your energy. That's the influence. You have the ability to visualize what you want. So always imagine good things for yourself. Always speak good things about yourself. Always write good things about yourself because that's your power manifestation, especially if it applies to yourself, only to yourself. Only yourself is your greatest weapon. Okay? So with this also... Um, group number two if you're trying to manifest something uh, but your energy or your chakras are out of alignment and not working together you know this can create an energy that blocks whatever it is you wish to attract okay so energy block happens sometimes if your chakras are out of alignment now the following heart manifestation balance you know helps you bring your heart solar plexus and navel chakras into alignment so that your energy can work for you um you know group number two i feel that your heart chakra is really uh good that's kind of like your energy and your heart chakra represent your heart's desire and intuition and your solar plexus chakra represent your sense of self material reality and your good instinct and your navel chakra represent your creativity fertility and ability to manifest so i think that you have that three energies okay and that all combine making you a powerful manifester or potential to be a powerful manifester if you want to pursue this okay if you want to learn more about it if you want to uh, claim your manifestation power for your own benefit okay group number 
three. Let's just pull the curtains. I also feel that with this card, though, um, you're someone with that three powerful energy, the power of three, and also at the center of your chest, the center of your uh, midriff and just below your navel, okay? This one. Imagine there's the flow coming out of it, okay? And there's this energy that you can truly handle and make, making you someone that is balanced. So the influence that you have uh, on others is other people uh, truly sense your balance, your harmony, your power. They sense it. They might not talk about it. They might just silent, you know, they might not say anything about it in front of you but they sense it you know energy never lie your energy is so strong okay i can truly uh relate with this group group number uh two you also have here the hawk and thistle with the hawk and the thistle there's this graceful energy about you that that's like your energy, a graceful person, someone that is so graceful. There's this value and essence in what you're doing and what you're talking. You know, you might not be that fast like other people, uh, but they might not realize that you are the hawk. When the time is right, the opportunity to shine will be there for you. Okay, group number two. You know, with this card, people sometimes underestimated you in the past. They did. Some people, not all of the people, okay? Some people. Because they thought you can never get it. They really think you can never get it though. So that's the thing. The hawk is a keen and a vigilant observer. There's this very attention to detail that your energy has, you know, and the influence that you have on others is you really pay attention to people. You truly can observe around you, surrounding you. Okay, and you know, people cannot lie to your face. You can smell the BS from miles away with this hawk card. And also, you are such a predator. That's why you are a powerful manifester. When you make the target, when you make your achievement, when you make your goals is your target, you're going to get it like the hawk apex predator. The hawk glides gracefully on the wind. It's sharp talons ever at the ready. Now, we're talking about the thistle can thrive in a variety of environments. You can survive and truly winning in different kind of environments, situations, or even hardships. You overcome challenges with proud and pride. Now, with that hawk energy that you have, the influence that your energy on others is you can truly act fiercely while maintaining your grace and dignity. So you never lose your sight into the target. You always remember and know your target. And whenever the opportunity comes, you get it. When the situation force you to be fierce, you be fierce and defend yourself and stand up for yourself. That's kind of a thing, okay? That is, I'm really proud of you. And people cannot truly uh, knock you down. They cannot walk all over you anymore. Not anymore. But some of you experience some sort of like bullied in the past, especially in school, you know, you experience that. But right now, guys, mm, they're like specialists or they're like, wish you could fail, but you didn't. You tried again and now your life is getting better. And the bullies will let them just be the haters and you enjoy your own life, okay? We can make special video just for that or separate video just for that. But at this time, know that you have this energy of the hawk. 
very powerful very have that attention to detail and really pay attention to your surrounding now you are someone that will not be easily influenced by other people because you are the influencer naturally influence people without you having to work in social media or even um, becoming a real influencer but you are the true definition of an influencer the true definition of a powerful manifester sometimes you ask yourself am i too easily influenced by my environment no you actually just adapt to your environment and try to uh, rise to the top, winning your game, minding your own business, and manifest great things in your life. You know, you keep trying, you keep doing it. There's a reason you're attracted to this reading, to this particular group. That's your calling from the universe, group number um, two. We also have here day and night with this card i can honestly tell that you're someone that is such a hard-working person okay you work a day and you work night think about the next plan think about the next project you give all of your attention to your project and goals and job and career and study and everything that you put your mind to you will be successful with this kind of attitude for the long term because this is creating a great habit a great recipe for success but don't forget to take rest okay group number two that's what i feel uh, with this group all right, group number two, and then you also have here the magician, okay? So with the magician, I feel that with this group, um, you kind of have this uh, special skill, um, and the skill that you have will truly going to help you uh, get what you want in life. You have that power to uh, manifest your desire, you're willing to take action and use your skill to gain even more power. Okay. And with the magician card over here, group number um, two, I feel that you're here in the world to show other people that it is possible to manifest your desire. So even again with the card manifestation, as your overall energy, you have this manifestation energy that truly influences people to see the life that you have right now as a representation of your own manifestation. When the magician card coming in conjunction with manifestation, the power of the magician is double so that kind of like energy that you have uh, on others okay the influence of uh, becoming this magician someone that is confident and willing to take action can use a lot of different resources and very creative you know you have that creative skills and talent to manifest again this is about manifestation number 22 okay that's like your overall energy and sometimes your face you face like a little bit a delay during the manifestation or you know in the middle of manifestation progress but you're not using that as, a, as an excuse to stop okay you still have that persistence uh, to truly get what you want in life and graceful desire to um, truly be successful okay okay group number two and I can truly see that even day and night your effort to manifest and your persistence is very strong okay day and night you're acting right now like the magician you have that potential to be the great magician the great manifester to manifest your dream and desire okay you also have here the devil now with this card i feel that you have this uh, nonchalant energy you know you're unbothered with other people and you're someone that just gonna pursue your desire even though it's sometimes uh, a little bit uh annoy other people but that's also because they just don't want to see the best in you okay 
and you're not afraid to admit that you want certain things in life. You want beautiful things in life. You want good things in life. You want to manifest all, all of your desire and you will pursue it. Okay. You also have here the world with the world card group number uh, two. I feel that there is this energy about you that you truly want to complete what you started in the past. There is this kind of like a very strong uh, urge to get things done, you know, uh, to actually finish and explore another potential that you have in life but there's this energy about you really want to consider uh, other options but really want to experience the whole thing okay that's what i feel uh, from this group you also have here the star you have here three of cups and you have here a five of swords with the Five of Swords here, group number two, I feel that, you know, um, people uh, kind of feel that you're such an intimidation, you know, for them. If they're afraid to compete with you, to challenge themselves, you know, to get what they want in life, you know, they see you as a competition. That's very strong competition even with the Five of Swords coming in conjunction with the Magician. And even when the Hawk is here, you know, the Hawk is also a predator. And there's this persistence that the Hawk bring to the table. There's this graceful persistence inside of you. Your energy is very graceful. So even if you have to compete with other people, you're not afraid about it. You're not afraid about it, group number two. People, in fact, they're the one that's scared sometimes with your energy because you have this courage and always want to see the best in yourself. You have this hope and you keep the hope living inside of you all the time. You know, you choose to see your own experiences with these beautiful eyes because you don't want to just waste your time. I also feel that sometimes people um, don't want to use your shoes or don't want to put themselves in your shoes just because they might be afraid of the thing that they see or the thing that they know related to the depth of your soul, okay? You have this depth, you have this in times presence, you know, especially when the devil card is here and day and night telling me that it's not just seasonal, it's all the time, you know, your strong presence. People can sense it. Your strong manifestation energy. It seems like you really want to manifest great things and you have to do it. Like you just have to do it, okay? People got that kind of like impression and get that in energy from you. With the Three of Cups here, I feel that some of you, you are in the situation right now that you almost finish it you almost manifest it or still um you know two steps ahead of other people but people see your experiences um you know as truly such an inspiration because um you have that graceful you have that grace you know you're not cocky you're grace um and there is this constant ener energy about you that you're just gonna doing it full force that's what i got from this group okay that kind of energy sometimes can be a very go-getter person or people can sense as being too ambitious okay um it, it it's up to them but then we analyze this your energy that and the influence um that your energy has on others group number two but i feel that when manifestation is here coming in conjunction with the magician and also the three of cups telling me that you are on your way to have a successful life okay you're already on the right path here you already show some sort of a progress and promising future. That's what I see here. Now, also, when the star come in conjunction with the Three of Cups, I truly see that in the future, you're going to celebrate big things. You're going to celebrate a big moment here where you have this realization that you manifested your dreams. You made your dreams come true. That's what I see uh, from this group. Like, that's pretty strong. 
um, that kind of sense uh, from your group, okay? That lack of energy, that influence, okay? Someone that is absolutely ambitious, a go-getter, regardless of your sun sign, your moon sign, or your rising sign. Deep inside your heart, you are the hawk. You are the magician. You're someone that is also very brilliant, and you attracting a lot of attention, fame, and popularity also. If you're pursuing something related to public eye, entertainment, business or even just related to a lot of people okay that will put you um, into a spot into a stage where you can share your experiences and becoming this inspiration for other people to see and motivate them to actually also manifest their dreams now with the devil card you have that kind of effect to people that you giving them temptation so people almost think that if you have it then they can have it too but that's not always the case you know most of the time it's because your determination is because you're persistent okay? Okay? but they don't have it and they want it instantly and it doesn't work that way okay group number two so you have that kind of like influence that from the outside it seems like you have everything that you want or everything that you want will come to you easy um, that's what people see but then that's because you are such a powerful magician with a very high skill of manifestation and it May you always keeping it up, group number two, and you are already on the right path. And may you always, may you always be blessed. All right, group number two, that's your reading for today. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like this video. If you love this content, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you will not miss any future readings from me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you, and bye! Hello, group number three. Welcome back to my channel with me, Princess Taja. And today, um, we're going to find out what influence does your energy have on others. Before I begin, I will be very grateful if you're willing to subscribe to my channel and also ring the bell so you will not miss any future readings from me. And also, um, if you want private reading just for you, please click the link in the description box below. You can book me for your private reading. All right, group number three. Um, let's go ahead with the cards in front of us. What influence does your energy have on others? You have here the sacred woman with number 27 so 27 could be your angel numbers or just have uh, some sort of message for you from the universe you have this energy that is so wild group number three people sense that people get that kind of love influence you know they get a sense that you're such a person with a very wild energy there is a wild power and sacred divinity that must be respected by both women and men inside of you so you're not just getting a respect from your uh, fellow uh, gender you know but also from the opposite gender okay from a lot of people you have this rare ability to get the respect that you deserve because maybe the way you talk the way you interact with people is just you're just full of uh, wisdom to share with other people and people tend not to take you for granted or play around with you maybe they took you for granted in the past you know but uh, recently you have this kind of like energy as the sacred woman regardless of your gender and your age okay and also um this picture is about the native american indian you know um and she's actually closely connected to the concept of the divine feminine you have this divine feminine so you're gonna attract naturally a divine masculine to pursue you romantically regardless of their gender and also although it is more extreme than real life you know the story of this person on the picture of this native american indian does send an important message this is the white buffalo calf woman 
and you know she's actually have this ability to survive a surviving warriors so you have the energy like the warrior, someone that is not afraid. You, you are so brave. You have this courage and also not afraid to go after what you want, to defend yourself, to seek the truth and just living your dreams. Again, living your dreams, my baby group number three. That's what I got from this group. I also feel that with this card, this also brings an important reminder to you about your uh, potentially destructive forces. So people got this energy from you that your energy can be very intense, can be very strong, can be very destructive, especially when you face some sort of challenges that try to knock you down or some people that is just so toxic, you know, you can be very destructive to their own uh, presence, okay? You can just overpowering their energy. That's what influence that your energy has on others. You have strong presence. Whenever you enter the room, people feel it, people sense it, but you're not the one that become the loudest in the room, no. In fact, you're pretty silent, you're pretty quiet about it. You don't seek any validation, attention, no, you feel enough just by yourself. But then the funny things, because of your energy, you still attract attention without you even asking for it. That's what I got from this group. Now, also with this card, um, you just prepare to value yourself with a lot of action that you take to actually make other people give some sort of value to you. Okay, so as an example, like, you just pursue the career, the dreams, the job, the business that you want to have in your life instead of just waiting other people to give you a handout. So then people give you that respect. So no matter what is your profession is, you know, your job, your career, your side hustle, whatever it is, you truly get the respect that you deserve, especially from people that actually already know your backstory. You know, they can honestly tell that you're such a hardworking person and a very courageous a very brave okay probably also you move out of town you move out of country or even travel abroad you love traveling you love adventure and you have that adventurous energy that you influence people to be more adventurous too that's what i feel uh with this group okay you also have here the snail and huckleberry with the snail and huckleberry here, I feel that even though you make a little progress in life, you don't underestimate your opportunities. But let's take a look, okay? Let's take a look at the card of the snail and huckleberry. People get this energy from you that you have a big potential and you have big determination. Snail is an animal that has this determination. Even though it's very simple, it's very humble, and you know, it's very slow, but that's just from the outside, that's just from the exterior. So People get this energy from you that you're pretty laid back, you're a relaxed person, you're a calm person, um, you're someone that, you know, very humble even though you have a lot to offer. You have a lot to offer here, group number three. But I feel that with this card, you know, you are someone that truly feeling sometimes very insignificant, you know, some people may be just treating you like an average person, but you actually very loyal. Okay, you're actually very loyal, you're actually very um, disciplined and uh, very persistent as well with the snail. Now with the huckleberry, huckleberry is actually powerful fruit, okay, that grows plentifully, offering life-sustaining nutrients to both humans and woodland creatures. Now together, the snail and huckleberry invite 
um, other people to give you some sort of appreciation for what is beneath the surface, what is beneath the exterior that you display. And uh, you have this kind of like trust, you know, you trust in something that you cannot see. You have faith in your journey. You have faith in the divine, in the universe, in God, okay? And that faith truly make you go far in life. People sometimes uh, talk bad behind you if they hate you, you know? Um, and they say that, that you're probably not gonna go far in life, you know? you They judged you like that. They treat you bad, but then they had this jaw dropping moment whenever you achieved your dreams and you know sometimes the universe letting them see your successful life your happy life how you overcome challenges and how you win in life okay those people that are just not meant to be in your life they just gonna misunderstood you or choose not to understand your position choose not to be on your team and when that happened when other people show you their true colors believe it group number three you know your influence to other people you have this energy that gonna make other people show their true colors to you because you're slow you're slow to anger you're slow to judge and you just let let let's watch let's see this person characters let's let's watch what happened you know what i mean so for the people that feel a little bit intimidated by you um, you don't have to worry about it because those people still has a lot to learn, you know, about their own self, about their struggles and everything in between. And you just be with your own energy being very graceful and very uh, trusting, you know, very trust. You trust in the invisible and have this determination to pursue your dreams no matter how long it takes, you're going to get it because you are the sacred woman. You're someone that is so spiritual, okay? Very spiritual, very intuitive, um, have this close connection with the spiritual realm and also your angels. That's what I feel uh, with this group. You also have here a bloom, number five. So with this card, I feel that your hard work is paid off, you know? It seems like it's just never gonna end, but at one time, you know, at one time, it's just, it's just going to bloom. The opportunity to shine is going to be there for you, group number three. You don't have to be in public. You can produce or you can create, you can publish, you can whatever, make a great a pro project, product, you know, event or book or whatever it is that you think you want to do. You're going to bloom it. You're going to have it. You're going to have the best time of your life because you're just full of um, honest uh, perception that you keep it to yourself. Okay, and also I feel that with that determination and the trust in the invisible, you let the universe shape your way beautifully. Okay, and then you experience that bloom that you just speechless about it. You love it. You love the moment where your manifestation is happening for you. I also have here for you, group number three, the sun. With the sun, I feel that, first of all, your sun sign is very strong in your birth chart, okay? The sun sign have a lot of things to learn and you, you, you gotta learn, you know, the characteristic. The lesson from your sun sign that's like pretty much summarize what actually your energy is about and what kind of influence that your sun energy have on others you know it depends on each one of us but regardless of your sun sign you have this endless energy this is again talking about energy so people tell that you have a big energy you're such big energy person you have this light you inspire other people to enjoy their life you know you have this light and bright life energy and you're also someone that uh, you know guide other people and shine shine 
shine so bright you know you light up the room you let other people be free and you let them find their own way that's what I feel uh, with this group. Now, especially when the sun coming in conjunction with the sacred woman, I can truly feel that some of you truly gonna make your dreams come true. You know, especially when you mix that dreams with the characteristic that your sun sign provide. Okay, you can comment below. Please comment below. What is your sun sign actually? Because your sun sign, okay, the energy of that sun sign actually truly influence other people in how they see you as a person it's gonna be different but that energy is so strong some people got more influence from their rising sign moon sign you know other bird chart position but for you is the sun sign because you got the sun card and this is like very big energy so i feel that some people are truly even sense your presence even before you truly are in the room like before you walk they kind of feel it that it's you that about to come i don't know it's for some of you okay i feel like that for your group you have also here six of swords Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and also Six of Wands. With the Six of Swords, I feel that you have this energy that just want to move on. Whenever something hurt your feelings, you don't want to dwell on it. You know, you don't want to stay with it for long term. You just want to get rid of it, and that's like good attitude to have because not everyone can separate themselves from drama not everyone willing to just say goodbye for something that is just not meant to be again for you but you are my dear group number three you have that kind of energy you just let it go move on you know that kind of that of energy and that influence truly make other people realize they cannot waste their time with you they cannot treat you like crap you know they need to respect you because if you feel that you're being disrespected and you're just gonna move on and let that person go forever okay some of you your cut off game is just very strong you cut off people uh, whenever they like try to disrespect you in public especially okay you just don't like that especially when you know that you respect this person and sometimes people just try your find try to find your fault okay you know for an example like oh you have the idea same with other people well there is no original idea but there is a style that very authentic coming from you because you are the sacred woman and inspiration is all around us take all as a sign you know and when you got inspiration from your surrounding you know know that kind of that inspiration itself was not even original it comes from other inspiration around that kind of inspiration okay but there's this style about you that is so authentic so even if the idea of a project of a product of a whatever it is that you make not directly from you you know you can polish it you can create something new that is so fresh so fresh okay and you just gonna move on continue your journey and enjoy your own life that's what i feel with this group with the ten of pentacles group number three i feel that you have this very abundant energy you know you make other people feel secured financially especially when they're uh forming a relationship with you you know you make other people feel comfortable um, and you taking care of other people really well with the king of pentacles again this is about uh, financial success so in your lifetime your energy uh, gonna be used for you to accumulate wealth to make money to make you feel secured financially financially that's what i feel uh, with this group now with the queen of wands here um, I can feel that your divine masculine and divine feminine is pretty balanced because you also have that sacred woman. But with this card, I feel that some of you are going to experience some sort of attraction. Other people are going to give you some sort of attention. You kind of feel that you have this rare ability to absorb all the attention in a room and make other people just look at you, give you some sort of attention and just you know basically paying attention to you and enjoying your own company so there is this energy about you becoming this main character people you know regardless of your role in a group you have that 
um, rare personality that other people find to be very interesting. You really know what to talk, what to discuss. You can talk with different type of peoples and you have this broad knowledge based on, on a lot of experiences and your open-minded attitude too because you have that sacred woman card. Now with the sacred woman card, I kind of feel that you're so open-minded again, okay? Open mind. You open your mind to new possibilities, to new ideas, to new connection. So you never judge people by its cover. You really are so curious about other people and really want to form a genuine connection, especially with the people in the same fields or same interest with you. Okay, that's what I feel with this group. Now, with the four of wands, uh, sorry, six of wands, um, with the six of wands, okay? With the six of wands, you have this energy as someone that you get what you want. You have that prosperity. You're going to have that fame. You're going to have that popularity in life, which is different, uh, you know, for each one of us depends on what we're doing. But I feel that you're going to be up there, okay? That kind of like your energy because you master that spiritual world and your spirituality truly help the way you see the life around you. You have that sacred woman. You have that connection with the universe, the divine. I'm not going to be surprised if you understand really well or you know about the law of attraction or the law of assumption and you are so comfortable with practicing it with doing it you know you're also someone that doing meditation prayer yoga spiritual practices or religion practices you know someone that making a connection between financial and spirituality okay um and and you try to make that world a balance between your spiritual world and your material world you try to make that balance because you're already achieving the level of the sacred woman you know very spiritual person you know very divine and have that connection with the divine you make this influence into other people that they can sense your divine energy Okay, it's almost like the divine presence in your soul, in your existence to talk to people. So whenever you talk to people, it's because the universe telling people message through you. You are the good messenger, someone that has this ability to deliver message, to read the future, to read people and help people and guide them to their own goals and make their dreams come true. And you have that sun energy, very bright, very big energy and full of uh, joy and excitement. All right, group number three, that's your reading for today. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like this video. If you love this content, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you will not miss any future readings from me. Thanks for watching group number three and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you and bye.